So I'm out here getting the sunrise this morning and I don't do it that often anymore just because it requires a lot of work, especially when, you know, you've got a background like this, which is beautiful. We're definitely going to be covered a decent amount. But I wanted to bring my red Komodo out. I wanted to bring the FX30 out. I also wanted to bring the drone out to get some shots. And one of the things, one of the tools in my arsenal that has let me be able to do this is actually this bag that I've got on right there. Let's go grab this thing. This is VSGO's latest backpack, which is pretty much the last everyday backpack I'm ever gonna need, at least for a while. And the reason I like this bag is it's a 20 liter bag that can fit not only my Red Komodo, my Canon 70 to 200, my FX30, my lens for the FX30, my gimbal, my drone. Do I need to go on? Yes, I can fit even more in that backpack. And it's relatively small, very heavy duty. And let's go talk about it. So VSGO actually makes this bag. And when they first sent it out to me, I was thinking, is this the same company that makes sensor cleaners? And it actually is. Now they reached out to me because they saw I've been complaining about finding the right backpack. And when I saw what this was, I was really excited because it's very similar to the Peter McKinnon backpack, but for a lot cheaper. So for those of you who are on a budget and looking for a higher end backpack, this may be for you. So what I'm gonna do is show you what I have in here and kind of go over the different compartments that this bag has. So here is the top of the bag. There's a little sleeve right here that you could put stuff in. I actually don't typically use this that much. There's these two side compartments. There is this part right here that flaps up. And as you can see, it actually can store things like a gimbal. I've got some, there's a side compartment right here where I store things like my audio transmitters. Uh, and I pretty much just keep my gimbal, take it out right here. This compartment right here is pretty big. You can fit anything from an RS3 mini to uh, partially taken apart RS2 or RS3 Pro. And I like how it's nice and big. There's room right here. There's also actually a zip compartment right here, which I stick things like accessories. Uh, I stick my audio transmitters, things that I actually don't also wanna scratch up whatever is in this main compartment. So it's nice to have this little zip piece. There's this side compartment right here, which I have my two Komodo batteries in, but it also fits little things right here. And I've got my little small rig accessories. Uh, there's also another little sleeve right here. There's also this tool, which can be unfastened and you can use it to screw your camera in or whatever. It works as a flathead. There's this side compartment right here, which when you open it up, it actually opens into the main compartment of the bag where I have my little 70 to 200 right here. And the rest of the bag, unfortunately, depending on how you configure this, you have to actually open up from the back. Now it for a lot of people, that's not going to be a huge problem. However, for some people it may be. Let's take a look at the back of this bag, which is also a safety feature. This whole back opens up. So as we take a look, go unscroll it right here. There is a little compartment right here and I only put some cords in it, some batteries. I try not to put too much because actually right here, this is for laptops and tablets. So I don't want anything in this compartment kind of super hitting what laptop or whatever I have in here. So I try to keep it very light. When you open up this compartment right here, this is the money compartment. So I can actually fit a lot in here, which really surprised me. I've got my Komodo right here. I've got a little telephoto extender. I've got my 70 to 200. I've also got my Sony FX30 right here with the 11 millimeter. And I've also got the Sigma 18 to 50 right here with a little K and F filter. Uh, also, I got a memory card loose in here. Uh, it's that, that memory card's in this Komodo, but you can fit a lot in this bag, which is pretty insane. Now, this isn't necessarily the bag that I take when I'm biking or whatever it may be, but this is the bag I'll take with me when I'm going on a trip 
when I'm maybe walking somewhere where I need to bring a lot of equipment and not a super light setup, this bag will help for pretty much any small to medium setup you may have, whether you're a vlogger, content creator, videographer, filmmaker, if you have a heavy duty setup, you don't necessarily wanna bring a cheap bag. You also don't necessarily wanna invest in a Pelican case because where you're going, it may not be conducive. This bag works really well. Two complaints I have about the bag are basically both living right here. And those are the only two complaints. One is this little piece right here actually has a magnet in it. And when you stick too much in this top compartment right here, it doesn't always stick. Like even today, sometimes it's sticking. Like you can see right now, it's not moving. Sometimes it's kind of just stuck up here flapping. The other is going to be a cosmetic thing. And it's actually this little piece right here. As you may see, it's actually already taken some damage and it's all cosmetic. Now, the issue with this is they decided to just go with this metal finish right here, and the way you use this bag, you're pretty much always putting it down. And since it's painted black, it pretty much is just scratched up the paint right here. Again, it's a cosmetic thing. The only thing I would recommend to VSGO is maybe in the future, Make this piece that's right here rubber instead of metal. That way, when it just touches the ground or whatever, it doesn't scratch. I really enjoy using this backpack a lot more than I thought I would, and I've really needed something heavy duty like this, especially when I'm going and I'm trying to create content where I just can't fit it in a really small bag. And at the same time, I don't want a huge bag to go with me. This bag, it's a 20 liter bag. It's a really good mid-size option. And the very last thing that actually this bag has is the fact that you can just set it down and it's got a flat bottom. As you notice, I set this thing down and it's not gonna flip over, which is great because I can't tell you how many times I've had a camera bag that I just set it down straight up vertically and it falls over and I've got something like my Komodo in there and I have to worry if anything happened to it. This is a very heavy duty bag, works very well and I do highly recommend it. If you have any questions about VSGO's 20 liter bag, make sure to put them in the comments below. And if you got knowledge and value out of today's video, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe and notification bell to keep up to date with the latest videos from the channel. Until next time, my name's Jeff Fagan. Thank you for watching everybody and I will see you in the next video.